Welcome back to Mystical Crystal Tarot. Let's jump straight into the reading. We're going to look at what April 2022 has in store for you. We're going to try to get as detailed as possible. So enjoy. If you want to get your own April 2022 forecast so you can personally see how it's going to affect you, uh, check out my website. I will have that listing up. It should already be up. And it's I think 50% off. I always do it at the end of the month, 50% off. So check out what's going on with you for April now. And also, if you want to see a pick a card where you can even get more of a personalized look at what April has in store for you, I will have it linked below. I'll try to even link it right here. If I don't, it will be below in the comments. But let's jump into the reading itself. Let's flip the camera. You guys know how it goes. Enjoy. Taurus, let's go ahead and jump straight into your reading. Let's start with my right away and see what randomly just pops out of the deck. So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. What does the month of April 2022 have in store for them? Spirit guides, come through with the messages for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. What's coming through for them? First card we got is the Nine of Swords. So... The way that I'm perceiving this to be, I just see a lot of insomnia. You could have projects or work stuff that's keeping you up late at night. There could be a lot of things that are on your psyche, things that you want to do, things that you're excited about, uh, progress that you personally want to make, and you're waiting for time to basically deliver certain blessings to you uh, in, in a matter of time. But with the Nine of Swords, it just feels like there's an overactive or there's a sense of overactive energy within your thoughts i don't know why i'm so tongue-tied today uh but there's a lot going on and you want to be careful of allowing yourself to drift off or get caught up in this insomnia and and overthinking things as well you could have so many great ideas but you're thinking about whether or not it's going to produce any results before even taking action on those things so that's something to shake also somebody is on your mind like crazy you can't help but to think about them it could be things that cause you to keep seeing this person you could have vivid dreams about a particular person pay attention to dreams all right i also have the five of pentacles so mm, some of you guys could be losing weight not on purpose though like this could be you losing weight because you're stressed out a little bit okay something with eating habits could be a little bit off another thing i'm seeing also this is you guys deciding that maybe you want to cut back on spending. There could be things that have came up that you've had to pay for recently, and it's definitely dipped into your finances in a way. And this could be trying to preserve your finances. Your birthday could be coming up, and there could be things that you want to do for your birthday. And there's definitely a need for you to make sure that you're saving money for whatever you're trying to do. Also, I have the hangman. Hmm. So something could feel like it's missing from your relationship. Your person and you could be on two different wavelengths mentally, and that could be something that needs to be discussed. But yeah, with the hangman. There could be moments where you and your person just stop talking to each other all together. This is like, okay, I'll go to my side of the house and you go to your side of the house. You do your thing and I'm going to do my thing. You could even want to feel more supported by your person, whether that's in a financial sense, uh, in terms of like them matching your energy, because right after this would be the Six of Pentacles. You could, be, you could be pretty tired of waiting on somebody to get their act together as well. It just feels like, what's the point of me waiting on you to get your act together when you've shown me repeatedly this is the way you are? Taurus, what's coming through? 
Eight of Cups. So anything that you're not happy with, anything that starts to feel like is draining you more than adding to you, you guys are just naturally going to walk away from it. It doesn't even feel like it's personally a fight because a lot of you have already been in this space for some time. So in April, if things still consist to be the way that they are in a job, in a relationship, in whatever this is, you're just going to walk away. What's coming through for... My Taurus, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. What's coming through for Taurus? So the thinking woman, and it's right up under the Knight of Swords. So again, there's a lot on your mind. I feel like this is a very mental month for you because you're thinking, you're stressing the the freak out when I almost cussed. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. What is on their minds? Okay, second chakra. Hmm. Second chakra. In connection to this card. Let me put this right here. So I guess with the sacral chakra being here. There could be issues around like a creative endeavor. You could have certain fears that you're feeding into. It could also be also like a decision that you're not that confident in. Is what I'm hearing. But let's keep going. Something here could be blocking your level of confidence. Somebody's making you feel like you're not worth anything. And you need to not feed into that because this person could be doing it for their own personal ego. So money, yeah, uh, I see you guys are going to be focused, extremely focused on getting to the bag and securing your finances. But then also beyond money, a lot of you are looking for somebody who's of, sub of substance. If you are putting yourself on the dating scene, you're looking for somebody who has something to actually offer. And if it's not that, you don't want it at all. So this could cause you to be very selective in who you choose to date. You could be looking for somebody and you could even meet somebody who's really balanced in their energy, but you could not be all the way trusting of them because of some lingering past energy. Hmm. All right, let me pull some cards from here. <clears throat> you may have to spend some money on something randomly. It may be a larger purchase or something that you just weren't expecting and kind of blindsides you. So I definitely would say make sure you have money saved for a rainy day. This could be like having to fix a car park, having to renovate something in the home, something important. I also have triggered and we also have euphoria. So during this time frame, something here is setting you off. What is setting you off? Okay, your person could be doing the same behavior, doing the same thing that you thought that you guys worked through, thought that you guys have fixed and moved on from, but they're they're repeating the same thing and basically opening up a wound all over again. There could also be a trigger that shows you that you haven't completely healed from something. This could be, let's say you're trying to date and then you come across someone new and then they do you just like how a past person did you, like maybe ghost you or cheat on you or you know, have options or something. And this could have, this could be very reminiscent of a past situation. And it kind of shows you how you're not over it by the way that you react. Hmm. You could even have somebody purposely trying to do things to trigger you. So be careful of that. But for the most part, towards the end of the month, it feels like you guys are going to be in a space of kind of just living your best life, doing what's best for you. Only thing I will say is anything that you're holding on to for dear life, that will come back and haunt you. Especially if you know that you need to let it go. But this is what I see. I wish you the best of luck, Taurus. I will talk to you in the next one. And any information you need to book a reading will be below.
Bye.